That's right, guys. In today's spicy video, we're going on a huge achievement hunt. And I, I do mean huge because the fact that uh, Minecraft with the 1.18 update has added a bunch of new achievements. And you guys already know that we're some legends and we got to get every single one of those things. So if you guys go on to enjoy this video, make sure you guys smash that like button, hit subscribe because this video was a lot of work, but it was a lot of fun. And by hitting that like button, you let me know that you enjoyed it. And let's get into the video. Naturally, the first achievement that I'm going to get in this video is going to be surge protector because this is an achievement i've been needing for a while and it was just thundering a few minutes ago um where's the thunder at now i don't know but i do need to find a village that has a bunch of villagers in it because all the villages immediately next to me have no villagers which means i need to protect someone with uh, the lightning rod and I, I don't have any villagers oh my god bro i feel like my world is way different than it used to be i'm so confused so like trying to get around right now this is so different i feel like so much of this world got regenerate oh village okay hold up it's on the top of a giant mountain this is sick but also i need villagers if you get struck by the lightning rod please oh man i don't have my trident on me because if i had my trident on me and then i could use channeling to just hit one of these oh it hit one there we go there it is holy crap okay i'm going to sleep Oof, but thank goodness we got that one out of the way because i've been stressing over that achievement for uh, quite some time now regardless though as i was saying there is something going on with uh my world this is not how it was generated before i feel like all all the mountains got lifted up more <laughs> and then it's like they start creating like these crazy looking canyons these things are sick dude like i just want to build a bridge across this maybe a house on top oh, look there's another village over there and then now there's like stony shores or like actually stony shores now this is sick apparently this giant stony mountain is also one of the biomes because i literally just got it it's like a savannah stony mountain looking thing and then there's emeralds on it are they trying to make it so that emeralds are actually useful now and you can find them? Oh, now this is a beautiful cave right here. It's like an overhang. This looks sick. Oh, man. Minecraft got like a facelift is what it got, you know? Like it really got an upgrade, I feel. <laughs> Back to finding biomes, though. We've already gone through one of these snowy, sprucey type biomes. So I know I got that one. And I definitely need to head home real quick, though, before I continue on this adventure because I am uh, low on rockets. So I'm going to have to find some sugar cane here soon. Oh, my gosh dude this is such a cool like pond bro what is this this is so sick i just like i have too much of a good time now flying around in minecraft looking at all the new scenery now this i actually want to do something with this is so cool i'm just going to continue to do the whole fly over every single biome i mean apparently i did get another one recently i assume it was an ocean related one or something but i'm just going to fly over basically everything that looks new and just hope that it's a new biome and that i get it the other ones i'm kind of curious of i think it's called like a meadow or something like that uh, because that does involve another achievement which is uh make the meadows come come alive with a uh, sound of music from a jukebox and so it's like i'm gonna need to bring a jukebox with me on this adventure now the next achievement that i definitely want to work on though is gonna have to be the strider one take a strider for a long ride a long ride on a lava lake in the overworld mind you that sucks so let me grab a bunch of buckets i'm not sure exactly how how long it needs to be i want to say it's like 50 ish blocks or so like 50 ish blocks of lava so i'm going to check the iron farm get a bunch more iron make a bunch more buckets and I wanted to fly pretty far away so that I could be able to whip up a new nether portal and then be able to scoop up lava from over here, wherever over here is. So I didn't want to affect my portal, which it looks like I'm not too far away from it. Uh, <laughs> oh, I know exactly where I'm at. My portal, this portal is literally right behind my other one that's on the roof. Ah, ow. Okay. Lava bad, lava hot. Remember that. And then I'm going to put them all into a shulker box like this. Take my shulker box after filling it all the way up and then just make the perfect spot for this, which I mean, I'm just going to do it literally right next to the portal. Don't screw it. I'm just going to dig a really long line. And I'm basically just going to place down all these lava buckets and fill up this entire row. Oh no, Mr. Sheep, you've made it. You've made a terrible mistake. Better hope you can get out of this situation. <laughs> Is this lava's coming? Ah! 
All right, now that should be plenty long enough, I hope. The thing is, I forgot a saddle, so I gotta fly home. And saddle secured. And now I can even just go through my nether portal to be able to make my way back. The only thing is that I'm on the roof and I completely forgot about that. So let me just drop right on in and just whoop. The portal should be right over here. Oh, now I gotta bring a strider in. Oh, that's right. I gotta bring a strider all the way over here. Oh, man. Do I do portal linking or do I suffer by building a bridge all the way up? Of course, I'm building a bridge. What am, what am I talking about? Oh, this is gonna be painful. And after finishing that bridge with absolutely no mistakes at all, it's time to go get our strider. Hello, good sir. I'd like to ride you. Oh, dear Lord. I'm going to hop on, take him for a little ride here. The only thing is, will he go up these blocks? He's very slow on land. Oh, he will, dude. Oh, he's a legend. You're an absolute legend, my brother. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll get there eventually. Um, oh my God, there's piglins. No, 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 no. I got some poachers. Oh, I just, oh, I didn't mean to shoot the kid. <laughs> oh, that's a little awkward. And let's just push you right on in there. There we go. And I just got to hop on in. And where'd he go? There you are. All right, buddy, let's do this. Let it rip. Oh, dude, he's so fast. The only problem, oh yeah, no, I'm gonna have to make it extra thick. I just realized that because he, he kind of wobbles off to the side a little bit. That's obviously an issue. Might have to make this double wide. Okay, let's give it a shot like this first. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to keep him straight on one tiny little block. So I either may make it double wide or I might build some walls for it. But regardless, here we go. Mush. Oh, we're keeping it straight though. Straight and set. Oh no, he jumped on the, yeah, I, yeah, I felt him jump on the thing. Yeah, no, it's like he jumps up. It's so hard to keep him straight. Even my crosshair, if it's straight, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna real quick build a wall and we're just gonna put him inside. Round two, here we go. Oh, come on, there we go. Nice and straight and smooth, baby. Now the only issue is if it's long enough. If I do a 180. Oh, there it is, regardless, we had plenty of room. It's too, <laughs> you're staying in there, all right, pal? Oh, you look so sad. You can keep that and the, keep, keep the saddle too. Maybe I'll come back for you, maybe I won't. Maybe the comment section is gonna make me feel bad about leaving you, maybe I won't care. Now the next achievement on the list is going to be probably the the two scariest okay and that's trading with a villager at height limit and then also landing in water at the bottom of the world while jumping off the top so that's extremely dangerous and as you guys know i'm an absolute legend so i'm definitely gonna mlg water bucket clutch that like yeah yeet and then catch it and then boom the hard part is gonna be getting a villager all the way up to build limit though because it's very high <laughs> so i'm gonna make my way over to the bamboo farm real quick so that hopefully Okay, yeah, there, there's some bamboo in here. Not too shabby. I haven't really been over here in a very long time. The chunks are rarely ever loaded, but I want to make a bunch of scaffolding so I can be able to get to build limit pretty easily. Now, I do have a strategy for this advancement, though, and that is I want to try to find a very high place to begin with, like that village that we were at earlier would have been a perfect spot, and I'm trying to find it, and I can't. But also, I'm trying to stop at every single new-looking biome that I can find along the way. <laughs> oh, see, like that, bro? That thing is weird. Some funky-looking generation i gotta be real it's just so tall in the last video i talked about this theory that people are saying that underneath these giant mountains is giant caves and we kind of tested in the last video and it definitely worked uh this one looks like it's starting to check out already this is actually kind of cool I did a community post also asking you guys if I should build a giant cave base or if I should build a mountain base. And this one might be able to be both. This is like a cave mountain, right? Like this thing is so big. No, screw it. I'm kind of curious. I want to dig down in this one to see what type of cave it is because there's a lot of caves I haven't discovered and I don't know if they count as their own biomes and you got to be in the cave or not. I could be completely wrong. I am now at 44 out of 50, which I think I was at 43 just a moment ago. So maybe this was a new biome. Oh, this is a meadow. What? I'm so confused how this is a meadow, but I mean, I do have a jukebox on me. I made sure to pack it for the ride. Okay, we hit a cave. Oh, ooh, we got a little bit of lush. It's very small. They got a little bit more of it. So is this supposed to be uh, a, like a lush cave thing? Cold ocean? No? Okay, yeah. I guess lush doesn't count as its own biome. This is the smallest little lush cave that I've found yet. This is, this is the only one that I found in this world. But so far, the facts do check out that underneath the giant mountains are giant caves. So this is pretty cool, actually, to learn. So if you ever want to find a giant cave, just go underneath a giant mountain. And okay, now where's that exit hole? Okay, here, let's real quick just get out of here. Zoom, zoom, zoom. So apparently this is a meadow, though. And apparently to get another achievement, all I got to do is play a song. 
best song there is. I'll say that much. <laughs> all right, now that that achievement's out of the way and we're done jamming, um, time to get on with the villager achievement. And now, oh my gosh, actually, hold on. We're at 45 out of 50 now. I'm so confused. How did I just get another biome? Grove. Oh, this is a grove? Well, how is it different than a meadow? The Minecraft got me mad confused, bro. But here we go. Finally, we found the village that we're going to need because this is where I'm going to get that bartering achievement. Now, for this advancement, I need to first build all the way up to build height. So let's just literally spam a bunch of these scaffoldings until hopefully it'll tell me that I can't build any higher and not just keep trying. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, dude. Build them is 319. <clears throat> I got a water bucket off that. I already, already committed to saying that I'm going to, huh? But now let's go all the way to the tippity top. I think I might finally see the top. This this is taking forever. And it looks terrifying to look down from here. Not gonna lie. And here we go. So then I shouldn't be able to place a block, which means I gotta break the one and then place that. So then now let's just build a little bit of a platform. And then what I wanted to do was place down water right here. So then villagers can just swim up. Oh wait, no, I need to go down there though. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, this is so fast. There we go. Cause I had to beat the water down here or else it'll, uh, oh, that's very slow. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> cause or else it would break the scaffolding, I think. But it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's taking its time. Also, my elytra is literally dead. So I need to find their iron golem. There we go. Get a little bit more XP on the elytra. No XP from the iron golem. Nice. Now, what I hope is that when I push a villager in, he'll just swim all the way up. Now, is that going to happen? Probably not. I'm probably going to have to go get some soul sand. <laughs> so let me get a villager in a boat. Don't go back in that house. All right, let's pull you out then. Oh yeah, now, now you're worried? Actually, you know what? I'm so dumb. I'm not going to get you in a boat. This is so much easier. Lure you all the way up here with your job. <laughs> you want financial stability? You got to follow me. Hey, don't get that job. Hopefully, now I can... Can you please stop trying to get any other job? Oh uh, yes, finally we have a victim. Oh, come on, get in the water, please. Just swim, take a swim, please. Ugh, yeah, yeet, Ugh. Okay, and oh, he's going up. It's working, he's... You are a mad lad. I will say that much. Okay. Um, it looks like I'm going to have to make a tube and I really didn't want to have to make a tube all the way to build height, but here we go. Uh, and there we go all the way up. Now the entire tube is just complete. It, it should be all the way through. No problem. Should be able to send a villager in, ignore the giant brown patch of dirt that somebody dug up. Now let's just push our mans in there real quick and then stop it. Stop. Stop resisting. Get in there. There we go. Oh, all right. Now all we got to do is go all the way to the top. That took four fireworks to get up to here. Yeah, honestly, um, I, I don't think he's, yeah, I don't think he's making it. I can't tell. If, oh, he's in there. He's still in there. <laughs> diving for him okay never mind i don't think he's in here anymore i did see him though i saw his little face and it's gone now oh my gosh dude this tube is way too big okay yeah i'm gonna have to do the whole soul sand kelp trick to get him all the way up oh my gosh am i even gonna make it all the way down here kidding of course i am i'm a legend good thing i did notice a portal right over here that does absolutely nothing for me because it's just covered in lava so i will build a portal right next to it then i'm gonna try to find some soul sand i will just take one thank you and then I'm just going to need a whole lot of kelp and then just place down that soul sand and put kelp all the way up the tube. There we go. And then, oh my gosh, it's overflowing. I just realized that. Easy solution though. All I got to do is place down some blocks, place down some signs. Like and now all I need to do is break the kelp and it should be bubbles all the way through. Perfect. Sir, would you like to go on a uh, water slide that goes very, very vertically into the sky? Of course you do. Now get in the tube. And oh my God, I almost got sucked in. And there we go. Oh my gosh, dude, that was so fast. <laughs> I saw him. I could see him through the wall. There he goes. <laughs> Might actually beat me all the way up. All right, buddy. You are literally playing God up here. I want you to know that. You overlook everything. And you also overlook this composter that I can't place down. Oh my God. Okay, can you take that job? Beautiful. Um, I'll be right back. I forgot wheat. And finally, sir, after our very long adventure, it is the time to get the achievement. <sighs> Okay, but now for the next achievement is that I have to uh, free fall from the top of the world where I am currently all the way down to the very bottom and survive, which means I'm gonna have to water bucket it. And that's gonna be terrifying. Very bottom obviously being bedrock, I presume. So I'm gonna dig straight down. Okay, and we are officially at the bottom. Oh my gosh, dude, this is so far. That's one, two, three, four, technically five. I couldn't get even to the surface without five rockets. Oh my gosh, and then it's like another five to get to the top of this. I'm going to miss you. 
You know, we've been through a lot together. You can take your money back. Honestly, I scammed you anyways. It's a good thing that I've farmed a bunch of totems, right? Because I uh, <clears throat> might need them today. Here we go. Free falling from the top. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right down the hole. Right down the hole. Oh, oh, oh. oh I'm insane. I'll just leave it at that. <clears throat> I did not expect to do that first try. I gotta be completely honest. Oh, all right. That might have been one of the scariest achievements I've ever had to do. Now we're looking good. We are officially only missing one advancement, and that is to explore all the different biomes. And we have five left. Only five. Now, literally, for getting this next advancement, it is just fly anywhere, everywhere, and hope to find it. Because I'm not I'm not gonna like use like a chunk finder type thing. I like to explore the world, you know, find the biomes myself myself and then have that satisfying feeling of knowing where they are and the fact that I achieved that. So I'm going to do my, hey, I know where I am. This is where we got the, how do we get here advancement? Which means we're almost home, which I need a lot of fireworks for this adventure. So that's a good thing that we're almost there. All right. Now that we're loaded up on all these tatoes and fireworks, it's officially time to go biome hunting. Figured I'll go in a complete opposite direction than I went last time. And after doing a bit of research, it turns out that, yeah, the caves are also a factor into the biomes, I believe. So like dripstone caves, Cave, lush cave there's like stony peaks frozen peaks i'm pretty sure i got frozen peaks though in the last one because we did find the uh giant frozen mountain i should be able to find some new biomes not too far away because when 1.17 came out we reset a lot of the world and i didn't do much exploring since they didn't update the world with uh the actual caves and cliffs so a lot of the world is going to be new and undiscovered okay we got a pretty gross looking was this a jungle tree okay so it's like blending a jungle into a mesa biome and it looks kind of wonky wait what this is not a jungle <laughs> what even is this well this is like stony shores i think i'm like 99 certain that i've already gotten this one we already got stony shores yeah this however looks like the weirdest stony shore ever it's like a cliff and we got giant mountain Mountain, which is actually Stony Peaks, which I think we got earlier. So I think Stony Peaks is the one that has like the emeralds and stuff like that on it. And we got some more snowy slopes, which we got in the last video. But we must keep searching. Because I have a feeling these biomes are actually going to be kind of difficult because they, they kind of got some blending down. Oh, here's a uh, tall birch forest, which I know I already have. I'm at 46 now. Did they did they change birch forest? Because that's the only thing that I flew over. But I already know I had birch forest before four i've had birch forest for a long time that's an og one i guess now we just need four oh, okay now this is a big old mountain this mountain's giant oh but so is this one holy crap what are these called are these called anything birch forest birch forest meadow meadow grove jagged peaks wait what is that is that one that i've had jagged peaks okay apparently i already had jagged peaks okay whoa whoa what is this See, this is why Minecraft's fun to explore now. Look at this. This giant hole in the ground, and it just goes... Well, I mean, how deep is this? Holy crap. Goes into a dripstone cave. Takes me down to Y level 26. That's not even near the bottom. And it feels this big. Oh, that's pretty sick. Got a pillager outpost just sitting at the very top of a mountain. I mean, I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm just gonna <sighs> up in here real quick. And yeah, there's nothing good. At least I can be able to heal my elytra with all these uh, pillagers here. That's gonna come in handy. Okay, so one thing I have learned, for example, example like this birch forest it's called an old growth birch forest is what it's called that's why it's tall trees instead of just being a tall birch forest and apparently wow that is very cool this is icy peaks this is another biome <laughs> now that's super volcano -y too it's got like kind of a circle in the middle <laughs> my boy a cookie god just built a volcano and i just found one so <laughs> who's really winning in life huh apparently they just changed some of the older biomes and you you kind of got to rediscover them even though you've already been to them a lot of the ones that I think I'm already going to have that they changed is actually going to be the ocean related ones. Since they did change the ocean a lot with having, you know, the depth and everything and having giant caves, now there's deep lukewarm ocean and deep warm ocean and stuff like that. Oh, here we go. We have the, the overgrowth taiga. I believe I already have this one though. Let's double check it. No, actually I didn't. So since the name change, I did not have this one either. Oh, and then this is also a lush cave. Look, holy crap. This is my first natural lush tree that I've found because I mean we did make a lush biome at our house but this is a true lush cave symbolized tree type thing so here let's oh is this it I know there's clay in lush caves but I might have missed it or something bro I keep going I'm going 
crazy deep. I've yet to hit any sort of cave. Oh, and here we go. So now we got a cave and it is Lush Caves. Okay, so this is an official biome. Wow, this is so cool. Dude, I love Lush Caves. Honestly, one of the coolest, prettiest things Minecraft has ever made. And apparently it is not one that I needed though, because when we did find that little Lush patch, I guess there was a small amount. I guess, yeah, a portion of it was considered a Lush Cave. I mean, it makes sense considering it did have Lush features, you know? So I'm not surprised at all that this is going to try to tell me that I already have it. And then I'm pretty sure there is a difference between old growth spruce and uh, and then the, like those are considered pine now or something like that. Judging based off of how I'm flying over literally all the spruce, I'm sure I already got all the spruce and I'm not too worried about that. I do know one of them is going to be the deep warm ocean because I have not found much for warm ocean, let alone a deep warm 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 ocean. Few inches later. And I've managed to find a lukewarm ocean. You can tell by the color it's not quite as deep dark blue so now all i need to do is find a really deep part i assume kind of like this oh there we go deep uh lukewarm and then that was not one of them i'm over it okay now this i think is new windswept savanna now that sounds new i'm literally just flying around with f3 open hoping okay windswept savanna is new but windswept savanna i guess kind of reminds me of that gravelly type of uh biome right where it's like the gravel mountains so maybe they renamed all those all right and after a quick googly search uh, that is indeed what happened uh, there's the gravel the windswept gravel and also there's windswept forest which is kind of the same thing but with a, a couple trees on it and that just might be the last two biomes that I'm missing. Not to get my hopes up or anything, but I think I know what they are. Oh my gosh. What even is this? Is this natural generation? This is going to be the sharpest, tallest, peaky mountains I've ever seen. There's also a birch version of it. Is this the, uh, what's it called? The whims? This is windswept savanna. But is there a regular forest portion of this? I think I just got it. No, windswept forest. Okay, so there is a windswept forest and apparently, apparently I already have that one. Regardless though, this is pretty epic. But just the way this, this whole thing looks it's intimidating. Aha, I was right though, because this is a gravelly windswept valley thing and we're up to 49, which is amazing, but also terrible because I don't know what the last one's going to be. And also, what is this giant hole in the water? But yeah, so this is going to suck uh, trying to find the last biome, considering that uh, I've been flying around forever and now I'm down to the last one and I just don't know what it is. But also, this is the ugliest, weirdest little spruce patch I've ever seen. One thing for sure, though, with this advancement is that, I mean, I could literally just mindlessly fly around everywhere and I might eventually just pop up. Also, there's pandas. Gotta love the pandas. And hopefully at some point I will hit a biome that I don't have yet. Eroded Badlands? Is that what it was? Eroded Badlands. A Badlands one. I wasn't expecting that. I did fly over Badlands earlier too, but I guess I didn't fly over an eroded one. Oh yeah, this is eroded, isn't it? I thought, yeah, it used to have a different name. That's right. Okay. Okay. That was the last advancement. That was literally the last advancement that I needed. And it just, it took, it took way more time than I thought it would. But regardless though, we got it done, everyone. We have every single advance yet again in Minecraft. Every time they release an update, they take a swing at me. I duck. I'm like, haha, nice try, chump. They're going to do it again, though. <laughs> Regardless, though, that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, make sure you guys smash that like button for me. Hit subscribe. Join the Paul GG army. If you guys have not already, you guys going to get a whole lot more of this 1.18 content. For now, I will see you guys in the next one. I got to fly all the way home.